Um, I don't know if you guys know too much about fifth gear lean, but I've actually learned a lot in the, the few weeks that I've been working on this thing, what fifth gear lean is. And I did, um, and the best way to tell if you have fifth gear lean is when you take out the shift boot itself. What will happen is when the transmission's cold, you'll lose fifth gear. Uh, the detent pin will get stuck. So what will happen is instead of centering here, it will center here. Um, the other thing too is fifth gear. It will just it will just center on fifth gear, and then your gate for third and fifth will be very vague. So you'll want to sh you'll try to shift. You'll have to go over and then up instead of just straight up. So um, that's basically it. It's just if your shifter has fifth gear lean, it will just basically do this. Um, the other thing too is it's not always terrible. Because what I've known with this one is when it's cold, it will stick. But when it's warm, it's perfectly fine. So um, I'm going to try doing a fluid change on this. And hopefully it will fix the issue. But uh, hopefully I have cleared that up somewhat. Right now I'll do, I'll do another clip of this with it being really cold. But right now it's kind of half sticking. And if it's actually really warm, what it will do is it will just return right to center instead of having to do it manually. So stay tuned. Well, since the car is cool, and I can show you fifth gear lean. As you can see, it's not centered. And the gate between third and fifth is not really, I mean, existent. It's just kind of, eh. So that's how you can easily shift into fifth instead of third. So, but once the transmission warms up again, it will pop back to the center. So that's what you're going to kind of have, is it's going to have not really any resistance to going to fifth gear, like it should if you go to first. So that's something to look out for. There is videos online of installing the uh, new spring pin and bushing, but um, yeah, now you know.